know, so putting the right nutrients in your bloodstream and putting the right knowledge in your mind, that's that's the system, that's that's where we start. Right? And so everyone that buys everyday gold, man, they get all, all the knowledge, all the workouts, all the everything I've ever created. Man, it's all free. It's all free. Like post code, I just want to help people feel included in the team feel supported in the team, feel that brotherhood or sisterhood or whatever it is. I mean, you got a team. You're not alone, right? Because that's how I felt during COVID. That's what got me down was, man, I had a team and I couldn't access any of them. I was, I felt alone. I got discouraged. I felt all my workouts. I was not happy working out. And so for me, I was like, man, I don't think the universe is punishing me. I think diamonds are made under pressure. And no growth comes from a place of comfort. Nope. So I was very uncomfortable. I was like, cool, this sucks, but it's a growth opportunity. How am I going to grow? What am I going to contribute to the world from this discomfort? And it was, man, oh, just open up the team. Let everyone be involved. Share everything that you've learned that's helped you. Inspire as much as you can. And don't focus on the money. Just focus on the value. How, what can I, how much value can I provide to strangers and friends and family and loved ones? And the rest, the rest will come, man. That's how we ended up on this podcast, too. Right. You know, just like-minded individuals. And I think it's really cool that uh, you're at this place where you're like, all right, man, what's next? What's pivot? Because, like, when I looked out the tunnel, man, I see you as, like, a fitness icon. Damn, bro, I swear. I mean, you think I'm just, like, gassing you up, but... I played this like five years later, like damn, he said it. Yeah, and bro, I mean, I called Nathan Wilson, like I see you got this glint in your eye, and you just smile a special type of way that is contagious, and your smile is contagious, and it's inspiring, and really humanity not only loves that, but they, they need it, right? Like especially yeah. now, man, Instagram and whatever storyboard you have is like, pressure. Really? yeah, stuff that make you happy. You want to smile with that person. And so if you can combine your level of entertainment, which is funny, man. I'm a fan, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I'm a fan, dude. You can combine that with the fitness education, man. I mean, dude, you're a rock star. Thank you. I yeah. think it, I appreciate that. I think it comes down to focus. That's why I kind of want to be around guys like you because um, I think that's something I've struggled with. Focus, staying Staying on course for a duration of time, you know what I mean, guys? Like, yeah, being motivated is great, but being disciplined is really where the devil of the details are, you know what I'm saying? When you can stay disciplined for a duration of time. So I think that for me, bro, that's the next, that's the next step because that's what I see in, in you. That's what I see in everybody that's serious about their physique. Because, again, like, tra I'm training differently now. I used to train just like you did. <laughs> I didn't know you played lax. Uh, for performance, not necessarily okay. The size of the aesthetic. bicep, the aesthetic, yeah. right? I'm trying to get a medial head, um, as opposed to the taper in the weight. You know, like all that stuff. It's, it's a different kind of challenge, right? And that kind of challenge, I think, is one of the most difficult things on planet Earth because it's the detail. Everything counts. Everything you put in your body counts. The, the amount of sleep you get, the amount of reps you get. Yeah. You know, it, it's way different than training for performance. You kind of get away with it a little bit. Can I get away? I can throw in a little cheeseburger here and there a couple of times, and I can, as long as I have 20 points, then I'm all good. No, it's different. It's a different kind of beast. So um, I really uh, admire, you know what I'm saying, people that are in the fitness industry, the physique industry, like, because it's a different level of not motivation, discipline. There it is. Discipline, bro. The motivation will last you a couple of weeks, <laughs> every month or something. For me, it's balance. Balance, right? Like, everyone's like, oh, Blake, I don't, I don't, I don't want to live that way. I like food too much. I don't want to live that way. I like party too much. Bro, if you look at my gram, it's parties. Yeah, yeah, parties yeah. on parties on parties, bro. Like, don't, you, you don't party more than me. You're crazy. Uh, but it's, it's about choice, right? And, and I'll break it down. If I take max discipline for two weeks, or a month before I go and have a, a, a vacation. I think it's something relatable. Not everyone watching is like photo shoots or competitions, something like that. But yeah, a vacation, yeah. right? 
So a month before a vacation, and I'm maxing out my discipline. And what that means is, imagine you're a video game character. You have a goal to go to the gym, and you skip the gym, your character loses a discipline point, which means the next time you try to show up to the gym, that voice in your head, that's saying like, nah, man, just bitch out, don't go. Right. It's way louder. Or you can pick yourself up, put a booster in your bloodstream, and empower through the, like, those days that you don't want to go to the gym, that you go to the gym, that's where your video game character gains a discipline point. And then that next time that you don't feel like going to the gym, that voice is quiet. Right? And eventually that self-talk is just like, let's go, you're your own hype man. Mm -hmm. And so if you train with discipline and eat with discipline that month leading up, it doesn't mean you can't go out and have a good time. It just means a little bit of sacrifice, a little bit of self-control. So maybe we're going out, we're vibing, we're dancing, we're just not alcohol. Just for a finite period of time, maybe two weeks. Then when you cross that finish line and you're... It, on vacation, that two shots, ooh, man, that's coming with the dopamine and the serotonin of the, uh, a lot, a lot it's more. It's different. It's different. It's another level. It's another level. Like you are, it's incomprehensible. You're just vibing so hard on your heart. Like, you just carry this proud feeling. Right. Even when you wake up and you brush your teeth that morning, you are feeling yourself. And that's what, that's what, that's what I'm trying to help people understand. Like, my approach is we just do two weeks, right? So there is a, an initial period of transformation where, I mean, some people, they need discipline for 90 days. That, and and, and that, it is what it is. Whatever, it is whatever your, it is. whatever your capacity yeah, is. Whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever your capacity yeah, You've got a body transformation period where we're going to push it and we're going to transform. But once you get to your, where you're stoked on yourself and you just vibe and feel yourself, just two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. What I mean is you, two weeks before your vacation, or photo shoot or whatever, you cut discipline just two weeks. 14 days, man. 14 days of so like A plus student, be an A plus student. It's not like you're like, oh, well, I hate cardio. Can I do it if I just kind of have a B minus diet and B minus cardio, but A plus workouts? No, you're going to get a B plus, which is fine. That's fine. But like, if you already have a B plus body, then that's just maintenance. Right. Like, you're going to put in all that work, you're not going to change. You're not going to improve. There's no amount of seven days a week of B minus workouts that are going to equate to an A plus physique. That's not how it works. I like that. So if you were an A plus student for two weeks, then enjoy yourself. Once you cross the finish line, you're on vacation two weeks, enjoying yourself, drinks, chilling, vibing, cheeseburgers, bacon on the cheeseburger, like whatever you want. Enjoy yourself. Blow it up. Go nuts. And then we don't want to just jolt the system back in. And then it's two weeks easing back into it. Right, two weeks where we're like, all right, we're gonna get some meals or keto. We're getting keto meals. It doesn't have to be keto days or keto weeks yet, but some meals are keto. Where we're starting to pull the carbs back, two weeks, easy back into it. And then there we go, two weeks strict again, A plus student. So now you're just going back and forth between your A minus physique and your A plus physique. Right. And you just get to live and party and vibe in that right. wonderful, beautiful space you always feel in yourself. And like it, the, the balance is incredible. You always have these periods where you're just on fire and discipline and leveling up, and then you're just, just taking it in, dancing, vibing through life, just sampling all the things that you had abstained from, which tastes a lot better once you've sacrificed for two weeks. You're like, oh, I want this thing, I want this thing, I want this. I'm, I'm, I'm abstained from it, and now I not only get to have it, but I earned it. That's just a different chemical experience. People are like, oh, you can't measure happiness. BS. You can. It's dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin. Like, that's what it is. Happiness is chemicals. And there's a natural way to stimulate those chemicals that make it sustainable. And we can just level up. I think that's what it's about, right? Like, getting on a team, leveling up. That's no doubt. There you go. That's no doubt, bro. <laughs> you get it. You hit it crazy, bro, because, you know, I felt like um, there's been times, I think everybody can, that's watching this, there's been times where you kind of fall off completely, and that feels terrible. You know, so what Blake's saying is that it's about balance. You keep that, you got that A+, plus. you get you get to a B at the very least. It sucks when you're at that A, and I've been there before, bro, where I'm at, I'm at that A, and then like I went down to like a D. I'm looking at myself like, oh, no. 
What happened to that boy? Like you in high school you was the man, homie, what happened? And then, you know, that uphill battle takes way longer than two weeks of easing back into it. Now you got you gotta go three months of a, a very difficult uphill battle. And if you've already fought that uphill battle, you might as well stay at the top, baby. Like don't yeah. don't hike all the way up there and then go all the way back down. Don't do that. So, you know, I like that I like that approach. Because for me it's been the opposite. I'm so extreme to be honest. Like it's either it's either I'm so strict where it's like I don't even have friends out here. Like I <laughs> like y'all you know, tell me to go do this, I'm not going. I ain't doing this, I ain't eating that. <laughs> or like I'm all in, I'm with you, I'm going. So I'm learning how to have that balance as well, you know, because at the end they won't be human, right? Yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta live. We can't just of course be just for the physique, just for the gym. We can't just be for the party. Gotta have that balance. No, that's not, that's uh for me, I love nutrients, right? Like I when I was at my rock bottom, I understood and I don't just be caught, I mean like wheelchair. Mm -hmm. No dope. <laughs> no none. Snot up. Can't even talk. Can't talk. Can't even laugh, huh? You can't even laugh. Right. And that like uh, really made me understand like the value of like having a healthy mental which just comes down to chemicals. Like it's, it's chemicals. If you want to learn better, that's the amount of choline in your brain. And a lot of people don't know this because they, you know, they take their mental health for benefit, right? You wake up in the morning, you learn, you maybe a little coffee or something, and then at the end of the day after your work, you're like, oh, I have brain fog, I'm mentally fatigued. But chemically what's happening is you are out of choline. You go to sleep, you make choline again. And I'll, an example I help relate to people is Benadryl, because we've all taken like two Benadryl before, and it makes you a little foggy and sleepy, right? You need a little spacey. That is an anti-acetylcholine. That breaks down choline in your brain, just as a side effect. And so, what everyday golden nootropics does is alpha GPC. We talked about it before, synthesized from soy. The C is choline. Oh. So I'm putting choline in my bloodstream to go into my mind, so I can learn again at this brain injured college. So when we put that uh, choline in the brain and we combine it with uh, the dopamine boosters, you can, I mean, you can take two scoops, turn up at a party, and uh, hey, cool. I mean, you, get, you get a little type of weight. But for me, I want to take it a little bit further, right? Like it, it's cool, but I like to also let go. And everyday gold kind of helps keep me focused. So I combine, right? And this is a, a gray area. It's legal. I'm a preface. It's legal. It's legal. But there's a plant out there. It comes from Indonesia and Thailand. It's called Crater. Totally legal. No one's ever heard of it, right? Um, Never heard of it. And I'm not like a conspiracy guy or whatever, but... <laughs> are you? I don't know. Right? Like, uh, but... Pharmaceutical companies are not about it because it is being used to help people get away from pills and get back to plants. So there has been lobbying, this is just public information, to try to make Kratom illegal. And so I didn't know about it until again, 2020, I'm in depression, like what can I do to help my, pull myself out of this funk? That's not alcohol, right? Like alcohol is temporary, like yay, and then you kind of feel bad. But it's definitely like terrible for the physique. People are like, oh, it only has this many calories. I'm like, no, you guys are not understanding. The only thing that burns fat in your body is your liver, period. Like, you look, see how it's all shredded? That's because my liver is very healthy. It's the only fat burner you've got. Nothing, not your muscles, nothing is burning fat. Your liver burns fat, alcohol poisons your liver. Period, right? Alcohol is not the only thing that you can get that euphoria from. And so as I started doing a little bit deeper dive into Kratom, you see all this crazy stuff on the internet saying like, you get psychosis and it's on, and I was just like, wow, you know, like take it with a grain of salt, respect it, you gotta, you know, find good source of this and that. Yeah. Um, but after I sourced like 10 companies, nine of them were terrible, 
one of them was good. And there's kind of like an indica sativa. There is a red strain, which is being used to uh, combat pain, give people pain relief. Right, so people that were addicted to oxys for like car accidents, stuff like that, they're able to just drink red kratom in the morning and red kratom in the afternoon so good. in a tea, and it does the job. As and actually, love him. Right, so this is the difference crazy. between an opioid and an opiate. The real addictive one, like morphine, oxycot, those are opiates. They're extremely addictive. An opioid taps on those receptors without that addictive component. So that's not really good to be in the pharmaceutical business not making something that's addictive, right? right? So they yeah, yeah. so they lobbied to the DEA and they were like, it's super dangerous, make it illegal. And there was a march on Washington, you can see the videos, all these enthusiasts that were like, Kratom saved my life. Kratom got me off of morphine. Kratom did these wonderful things for me that got me away from addiction. Kratom helped me not be addicted to alcohol anymore. It's very popular in AA. Like that's who I found in communities know about Kratom. Um, and it's just one thing. I'm not saying like Kratom is the answer. I'm just saying there are herbs out there that you can catch a fun wave and not damage your physique and go out. So like, man, I'm in Vegas. I want to find that balance. I want to party. I want to hit the clubs up. For me, man, I, I moved to Vegas. I've never drank less alcohol in my life. Right? And two, it's crazy. Like, I took it a step further. I was like, okay, I want to change my relationship to this high, to this weight, right? I want to make it as healthy as possible. So, what are the things I'm already not putting in my body, right? Powdered kale, algaes, powdered spinach. I'm like, oh man, I'm going I'm to chop it up. I'm going to cut kratom. Half of it is going to be powdered spinach, powdered kale, powdered algae, like this spirulina, things that I know are good for me that I'm like, man, I, I already do it though. And so like now, every time I go out and catch a wave, I'm literally like Popeye with the spinach, and man, it is euphoric. No, no, not in, it's not even in there. It's not in there because Amazon, Amazon doesn't allow, right? Amazon doesn't allow, it's still, it's this gray area. So I mean, I, again, I freely give the information but um, yeah, man, I'll, I'll take a scoop of every day and a scoop of Kratom. And man, I'm having as much fun as anyone. Crazy. And so like, so the red one is, Crazy. the red one's a little bit uh, mellow, anti-anxiety, anti-pain. The white one, uh, and they're both green, it's just they call it red Kratom, white Kratom. Um, the white one is on high beat. Like it's a, uh, man, you, you get hella talkative, you just bounce it around, crazy. vibing, so crazy. right, vibing, and uh, man, and then the next day, all my friends, they feel like trash, they're, you know, skipping the gym, you know, they were tequila shots all night, and where am I at? Leveling up. I don't, right. I don't miss a beat. So I'm not telling anyone that it's like, hey, this is what you should do. I'm just saying it's about being a student of self and always doing a reality check and going, how can I maximize the quality of my life and enjoyment of my life without taking away, without like having some kind of opportunity cost right. of my future, right? Like I want to have this maximum fun today. And we know fun is dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin, like love, brother. Like those are the chemicals. How do I max the chemicals today and also maximize my brain's capacity to secrete these chemicals in the future? Like you don't want to, overload it today and then be like, oh man, no, no I, I don't have the capacity to be happy because I did too much of some kind of something that what is illegal. Um, and so, yeah, man, for me, Vegas has been an interesting beast. Like, because, man, I, I think I've partied more than ever, but I've never been healthier than ever. And now I go, I'll go out, my dancing is my cardio. I skip the treadmill and I'm putting on like light up LED gold shoes and just like Running man, just like, just you know, and too. just having vibing and networking and just having so much fun. And uh, when I originally got the physique competitor world, it was like strict, 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 right? Like, I can't have my friend, I can't go out, I can't do this. And that's one way I think I think that helped me get some mental fortitude. But now as I mature, I'm like, man, there, there's there's a there's another there's way. A way. There's, a, there's a way to do it. It just is 
not alcohol all the time. Yeah. You know? That liver, boy. You need that liver, guys, for real. You need that liver. If your liver is busy processing that, that alcohol, then, you know, you can't burn the fat. Yeah. That's just, that's just facts. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not even something that you think. And it's foresight, right? Like, you always see people like, oh, man, I, you know, I'm older. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't have the metabolism I used to have. Well, that's because you poison yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Like, if you drive a, a car and you rev it to 9,000 RPMs, like, that thing is not going to last, right? Like, you have a body, so, you know, we're already pushing ourselves in the gym. And that's why, like, when I was younger, like, I was like, all right, let's, like, move weight, right? And my elbows started clicking. <laughs> right? Like, you know, and I was like, oh, man, you know, that's, you can, you can definitely make gains that way. But as I matured, I realized that going to the gym is as much about working on your ego as it is the physical body, right? And so, yeah, right? Like attacking your weaknesses, not just going to the gym and doing what you're good at. And that's why I developed like time under tension and then apex of exertion. Because I'm able to train my 55 and my 65 year olds and they can reach that point of failure. They can rev up to their highest limit and get that highest result without damaging their body. And then same, same thing, man, like when they go out, like that's why people come to me, whether it's a celebrity or, you know, I mean, I can't, I sign NDA, so I can't name drop, but like, whatever. Fair enough. You know, like when people come, to, they, they enjoy the life, they have a certain quality of life. And I'm a popular trainer because they see me having fun and they go, Blake, how are you doing it? And the first thing is, you gotta get your alcohol under control. Like, there is, you, can't, you cannot do it. You can't be an A-plus in the gym, A-plus cardio, A-plus diet, and then drink alcohol and get an A-plus, right? It's, it's a GPA. It's an across-the-board type thing. And it doesn't mean out, no alcohol ever. It's just during the transformation period, we got to find another outlet, like another recreational, fun thing to do where you can still go and be social but have some kind of self-control because nobody ever leveled up to their highest without some kind of test of self-control. Never happened. Being right. uncomfortable, like you said. Yeah. There's no growth without being a bit uncomfortable. Right, exactly. Oh, that's, that's what the gym is. Yeah, that's right. what it's. Those reps. And guys, I, I hope you guys are really tuned into what Blake's saying because all this stuff wraps into what he was saying in the beginning. Right? We were just talking about just the supplement. And the supplement is basically just a reflection of who he is and what he believes in and the principles and obviously it works. He looks the part, he is the part. So, you know, I hope you guys can wrap your mind around all this because even though he's saying it in a different way, a lot of this is pretty much the same principles, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it all, you. I mean, it all makes sense. Yeah. It all makes sense. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the podcast. <laughs> you. <laughs> Blake Fit, thanks for having me here, bro. I really appreciate I that. Know. Number one in the books. Yeah, bro. Number one in the books and We'll have some more. If you guys have any questions, holler my boy on um, all the social platforms. You got BlakeFit.com yeah, as well. Yeah, Team BlakeFit, BlakeFit.com. You reach out, you're on the team. You're invited. We, we want to help. We do everyday is for everybody, right? Questions, what are you struggling with? This, you doing me a favor by asking me questions, right? This is what I live for. This is what I'm passionate about. I'm going to go and get more reps in the gym because I'm on fire, because I got to share my gift with you. Right, right? That's real passion.